What's up everybody? I'm just going to show you a quick little video. I uh, ended up doing a sub and amp install on my 2020 AT4. Just going to give you a quick video show you how the wires run just so it might help you out if you ever decide to do something like this with your GMC or Chevrolet. Start it up here. Wire. And I'm going to show you. You can see there's a little grommet down there you can send the power wire down to. It goes through the firewall. goes up underneath comes through you can feed it around you can pull your trim up you can you can see that you can run the wires through there run it through the trim again you can pull this carpet up and you can run your wiring around back just to kind of hide it a little bit I haven't got everything completely touched up and cleaned up but it still turned out pretty clean I will say this, I used this line output converter because I have the Bose system. I bought this one at Walmart for, I think it was like 21 bucks. It's not bad because it does give you the ability to control the base without having to go with like an LC2I or anything like that. This will save you about a hundred bucks. I have turned it on, it does work. We'll see how long it lasts, but as of right now, I'm fine with it. You can see right here it is. This is where it connects for the base knob. I've got the base knob right here. I just haven't installed it yet. If you're tapping into a Bose, your wires are gonna be these yellow and black and yellow. Use a T-tap, that's the easiest way to do this. That way you can tap them in and then just plug your wires in make sure you do your when you're connecting these wires make sure to do negative with the negative positive with the positive and connect it in and in the fuse box you got a way to cook your remote wire in without having to use to pull out the cd or the radio but that's just a quick little video of how it's all done and I ended up, whether or not it's right or not, it's working. I ended up just taking two washers, putting one on the bottom, one on top, to use as my ground wire right here. So far, it seems to be working good. I am not a professional at this by any means, but it's working. Um, if I have to do something different, I'll get it going. But this way, at least gets me something going, and I, I'll show you what I've done. I went with a Kenwood amp. It's a little 1,000-watt mono amp. And then I went with the kicker sub that's got the radiator pass in it. It's a 10-inch sub. For what it is, it actually hits pretty good. It's all I really need. The Bose sounds pretty decent. I just wanted a little extra kick to it. And trim back on. Looks good. Looks like nothing ever happened. I will give you a forewarning. This kick panel can be a pain to get off, and I had trouble with this bottom pin. So just a heads up, when you're pulling these off, they are hard to pull off. But anyway, other than that, wasn't too bad. Have a good one.